Thank you for writing down questions. We've talked about heroes as individuals. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about heroes as a group. We few, we happy few, we bond of brothers. For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. Let's see, there's some kind of play that that represents. Henry! Sorry, that's my kidney's name. Henry! But he was inspiring his men. We few, we happy few. The sense of brotherhood. The military. A lot of times, military will risk their lives. They will not leave a man behind in battle. The sense of camaraderie, camaraderie, that, that word, the C word, shows the significance of the brotherhood and sisterhood of the military, and they will fight as a unit, use their best traits to accomplish the goal. Some of those vets, after they retire, have now become a part of a charity organization called Team Rubicon. I recently learned about it, and this organization is populated by past vets, vets that have skills, knowledge, confidence, and they will visit different parts of the United States and help the United States victims that have undergone natural catastrophes. Florida, Texas with the flooding, they're now in Mississippi with the flooding of all the rivers. The, there's the, the Team Rubicon is there taking care of people. And what capable people, people that worked in the military that work as a unit and are so capable, what a great group of people. Another example of a group of success is the first transcontinental railroad. Mm. 1863 to 1869, 1,912 miles long. Whew. They had to cut through canyons, cut, actually literally blow apart some mountains, such as the Nevada Sierra Mountains in Nevada. And they had to ex have experience, excessive cold, excessive heat, illness, very hostile Indians saying, get off my land and stop eating my, my buffalo. And they just had a whole bunch of challenges and working long days, hammering and hammering and hammering to get that railroad done. 1,912 miles, whoo-wee. Another example of a team a wolf pack. How does a wolf pack attack? Any comments? Because you're so shy. So I'll give you an idea. They have a victim. One dog will come in, nip him. The victim turns to him. The other dog come forward, nip him. They will take turns, surround their victim, come in, nip, nip, until finally they have their victim and they work as a unit, taking turns, and that way they don't all get uh, attacked or uh, hurt, and they go ahead and take advantage of the team. Another example of teamwork, we always think of 9-11, but there's a story that I learned recently that I thought was pretty cool. We always hear about when the buildings were burning, police officers, firemen, we're running toward the building, not away from the building. But the story that is not as frequently known is the boat rescue. When people were, were, when the roads were shut down and people could not leave the island, people were panicking. They were lining the outside perimeters of the island, desperate to get off. And all the boats started coming in, grabbing people, taking them off the island, grabbing people, taking them off. And those boatmen were part of the heroism of 9-11. Another example, okay, they made a movie, spotted a 3,000 Spartan, 300 Spartans. It wasn't 300. It was probably more about, with the sister states, about 7,000. And they only had to fight about 100,000 to 300,000 enemy Persians. So, I mean, it should have been a piece of cake. Think of the courage and the daring and the, and, the, and the physical stamina to fight against so many, 7,300 against 1,000, 100,000 to 300,000. 
whew, let's just say it was a long couple of hard days. Now, we're gonna have another moment of reflection, not yet, we'll go ahead and first put up the questions because they're so nicely typed. The questions I ask you is, what are your communities? List them. You may have 12, but go ahead and start writing down some of your lists and do this later if you wish. What would you say is the key role of each of your communities? What do you do as part, uh, that, what, what do you serve, in, how do you serve in your community? 